Good night, y'all. It's pretty late here on the hourglass. So I'm being pulled to do a reading tonight. And it's about what is going to be revealed, exposed, or coming your way in November. Happy birthday to my Scorpios in the house. Hold on one second. Pause. Unpause. Alrighty then. So. What is being revealed in the month of November Scorpio season? Hmm. Somebody, some, somebody's checking for someone right now. Okay. Cross watchers, how are you guys? How is the Scorpio eclipse season treating y'all? Are you guys letting things go or you're still fighting it? I get that some of you are still trying to fight for a relationship. Wow. Hmm. Surrender obsessive thinking. Wow. So I get that some of you are really obsessed with tarot card readings or pick a card readings as well. And lovely messages come through, but it's not enough. It's almost like you need clarity. You need reassurance on those readings, huh? <laughs> Sorry, you guys did not see that sneeze coming. It says, if you're obsessing about a person, a situation, turn the dilemma over to spirit. Doing so will help bring you clarity and even solve the problem. I feel like I need to sneeze again. <laughs> I'm sorry. I was so right before I came on here. But anyway, like I said, I was pulled to do this. So... I feel like for a lot of you, you're overthinking whatever this is with this person or particular situation. <laughs> I can't talk tonight, huh? Anyway, I'm getting that you're overthinking it and you're not having enough trust in spirit. <laughs> in spirit. All right. What is this all about? Reveal these obsessive thinking. What is this obsessive thinking all about? What is the theme? What is the sauce? What is this obsessive thinking about? What is this apple? What is this temptation? We have cancer energy. Mm. We have shadow with the moon. <coughs> Excuse me. We have two major arcanas. You guys see me trying to power through this. I don't know what this is. A sneeze attack. This is someone you don't see coming. This could be also someone that's obsessively thinking about you in secret. Somebody's willing and ready. I'm hearing willing and able to face their fears. I feel like for a long time, someone was standing at this fork in the road. And because it was no road there, it was just dirt or a road less traveled. Someone was like, I don't know. They kept dancing around it because this, I don't know what is beyond that. And I feel like now this could be you. This could be the person that is obsessively thinking about you. They're ready. They're in the spirit to conquer something. Hey. Something is rapidly coming or rapidly approaching. Be careful you guys are not driving in really, really dark roads or areas. Take cautious, if, caution if you are driving somewhere where it's dark. All right. You may be so like zoned out. That you may miss something or hit something there. So let's see what's going on. Okay, so some of you are obsessively waiting for somebody that's very, very vague. This person is vague. I mean, and that's what keeps you obsessing about them because it's a mystery. You want clarity. I'm getting it's not what it seems or it's not what it looks like. All right, so somebody's in their dark night of the soul as well. Somebody's in a fighting mood. We have compassion and we have peaceful, happy. All right. 
I feel like you guys want to know if someone is happy without you or they're happy not talking to you or they're happy how things are if they're at peace. What is this? What's going to be exposed in this November Scorpio season? I feel like there is some fears or secrets that's going to be revealed, but somebody's going to be like overcoming it, fighting that. A Cancer or a Pisces, Scorpio. Oh, Pisces. All right. So Pisces, a Piscean may be involved or someone is not going to let an illusion stop them. We have longing. All right. So this could be you. This could be the person. This could be mutual. Some of you still want confirmation. You want assurance that this is what this per you felt you're feeling about this person that they're longing for you. So what's why are they not coming towards you? Yes, this is the person. This is the person. Maybe that's why I had that sneak attack. Somebody goes off of the sneeze thing. I'm hearing yes, seven or seven, lucky seven. Something to rhyme with seven, seven heaven, seven eleven, seven eighteen, maybe somebody's birth date. Hey, all right. Somebody's fearful that somebody doesn't feel the same as th they want them to feel. It's a person and the situation, what's going to go on with this person. Y'all are longing for this person. And I feel for some of you, you pretend or you act like you're not. Very deep feelings are stirring here. Somebody's going into a dark place because they're obsessing about a person. You guys got to take it easy, all right? Don't let yourself go there. You're stronger than any strong connection, all right? We have Taurus energy with the Hierophant, another major arcana. Wow. So what you're not seeing, this could be, um, this could also be a hidden proposal or commitment coming your way that you don't see. It's on your way. So give this dilemma to spirit, trust in spirit, trust in your ancestors with the Hierophant. Some of you are obsessed about a married person. Is there going to be victory? Are they going to fight for you? Are they going to solve the problem of the secrecy? Is it an illusion with the moon? We have the Ace of Pentacles and the Eight of Cups. Somebody is leaving a marriage. This may be mutual after some time of confessions or many discussions, possibly with a psychiatrist, a mediator. Somebody's calling it quits or both parties are calling it quits. I also hear uh, from these cards that a lot of you are dealing with people that are now separating from their, their exes or spouse or partners because it was bonded through trauma, through illusions of personal illusions, not necessarily the relationship. I feel like this, your person, and if they're married, they're going through a revelation of illusions and i feel like there's some sort of forgiveness cycle in that situation to allow this person to go on or move on with their life so for some of you this is a sign that someone is giving up or divorcing they're ending things on good, good terms i'm hearing that they're being civil with ending a divorce or some sort of partnership, hey. Someone was very, very afraid because they didn't know how this would play out. Eight of Cups. But they're becoming emotionally strong. Could be a Cancer, Pisces. Learning to believe in themselves a lot. Having revelations about how the Most High works in great unexpected ways. There's a mystery that's going to remain a mystery. All right. But I feel like people that was married. They some. Okay. So what? Shit. All right. So some marriages that was rooted. 
with the unhealed dark parts of the soul, people that are now healing, changing their values, changing the way how they see traditions and love, holy matrimonies. This is changing. Hermit, Virgo. Wow, this could have been finalized in Virgo season. All right, so somebody has ghosted you because of a committed relationship that they felt like they had no other choice to stay in. This person is isolating themselves or they're like slowly falling back away from this commitment. They know the truth and their truth would set them free here. But first they have to make sure that their duties has been fulfilled or, you know, things has been settled with the Hierophant and the Ver uh, Hermit. Somebody may have the initials of an H, Hermit, Hierophant. I'm breathing hard because my nose is clogged up. Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, I did enough or we did all we could. There was just no room for improvement. It's it's done. I gave what I could. I gave my best, but it, it it's now time for me to move on. We did all we could. As a team, as a family, we try to respect our vows. But I feel like I was going in the wrong direction. Something about fake artificial light or artificial fake truth. Hey, it's no longer my truth. It's no longer I'm hearing we are growing apart because of our differences. We have different interests. We have different values. We try to work it out, but it, it just is not happening. All right. I also get somebody is longing for their single dumb and, you know, this is why they're so emotionally strong to walk away. There we go with the moon. <laughs> so this could be the next full moon energy. There's a lot of mystery here. Somebody's ready for the unknown. Somebody's no longer afraid of the unknown. I'm also getting a lot of romantic, intimate energy coming here. How could I get that? Oh, gosh. So somebody's wanted to cross a threshold of emotional uh, wounds, hey? emotional secrets. Oh, wow. I'm getting two scenarios. Some of you are like obsessing about someone because they're obsessing about you. The both of you may be mutually longing for each other, ready for something more serious with the horror font. But having your own personal identity crisis with the hermit seeing what could be done what is in my power what could i give it's unknown i don't know what's gonna happen what's gonna happen next but i have to try with the moon and the eight of cups the empress overall energy with the emperor Woo! so we have divine beings we have two characters that are fully wholesomely within their power their divinity craving for each other hey my soul recognizes your soul i know you the both of you may act like old married couple already but there was unseen forces or there was unseen obstacles that kept this person from you they can't stop thinking about you. And they wish they could drop everything and just bolt, come rushing in. You know what I'm saying? Like, look at my chariot. You just need to get in, right? <laughs> wow. So the dark night of the soul could be what's stopping this emperor from getting their empress. And it could also be at the end of this dark night of the soul, the completion, they will have a cosmic marriage here of the masculine and feminine energy to be this wholesome energy. This happening around the eclipse season. We see the eclipse here. I'm hearing uh, the, the full moon that's after the eclipse or part of the eclipse. This is what's going to initiate be moving beyond that threshold. 
the emperor and the empress got their groove back. Wow. Some of you, this person is soft ghosted you. They're very loyal, you know, very devoted to you. But they're soft ghosted you, meaning they're just allowing text messages only. They're not trying to tell you about these plans or what's going on behind the scenes where they're retiring or they're divorcing. They're counting their pennies. This, this was not happening overnight. This was happening over time. Gearing up to give you something. Wow. Let's see what is the connection between the emperor and the empress. Please, Claire. Simple answers. Yes, this is the person. They're going through an ego death. As we speak, they're going through a very painful transition. Yep. Okay. What is this transition about? Wow. The Wheel of Fortune is here. Lessons learned. We have the King of Swords comes out for the second time tonight. So this could be the energy of this person wandering, focusing, contemplating of what is hidden. What should I be prepared of? This King of Swords fought many battles. Very secret battles or inner battles here. The lesson has been learned. This is faded. You guys are faded lovers. This could also be divine masculine, divine feminine vibes going on here tonight. Like this person has a lot of stories to tell you. They may even write about you in their journal. Something has it unlocked between the feminine and the masculine or both energy. Something has unlocked her. Somebody's elevated. Think it straight. Clear. They could also be going through this active meditation where they're doing things, but they're meditating. They're, they're like unlocking a lot of the, themselves, even though they're very active. So this may be a person that does not have to be in stillness to meditate. They could be actively doing things. I just like thinking, balled up in thoughts. All right. What we don't see coming in November. Some of you, this person may surprise you. The next full moon, that's a part of this. The, who knows what that is? A part of the eclipse. What is this crappy card? What is in the mood? Increased money. Wow. So some of you may see uh, like increase of money. This could be a pay raise. All of a sudden, you got that raise where you've been working towards or aiming towards. Some of you, this is also wholesome. You're going to feel very wholesome. And when you feel that wholesome energy, that's when you're going to see the, that increase of money. It's destined to you, but you had to learn some lessons about your own self. Soulmate connection is in the mood. What you don't see coming, a higher level soulmate that's very much matching of your energy, your sacredism. I'm also hearing that you do have a heart of gold, but you don't have to do everything on your own with the emperor. So the emperor is going to come in and I'm hearing they're going to address you. They're going to put you in a very feminine energy. And this feminine energy is going to cause you to sit on your throne and actually be open to receiving. And let's say you're the emperor, you're going to have this feminine that's going to come into your life and it's going to give you a reason to stand in your masculinity. You're going to feel like this was the missing piece of the puzzle. This is who you were looking for in the daytime with a flashlight. This is the beauty in the dark with the shadow energy need to be alone. Yeah, but for right now, you guys got to stay in hermit. Some of you divine masculines, you feel your divine feminines go in to hermit. And it's causing you to wonder what, what the divine feminine found out or saw about you. It's like this divine masculine, they're very sensitive to when you pull away. They don't know if they did something wrong or they you found out something. So it's like, why are you being so mysterious? Why are you being so vague? You have me thinking about what this could possibly be. It's almost like, you know the feeling you get when somebody says, we got to talk? And then you're like tripping all fucking day. Like, what the fuck? What the fuck we got to talk about? So it's something like that, but without saying, we got to talk. It's just the energy shift. The divine feminine or the feminine energy could be going into a hermit right now. Ooh, my nose, you guys. I don't know what it is. I'm not even sick. We have friendship. So you guys may have this bonded glue. A very tight friendship that creates this foundation between the both of you. 
but they secretly feel like you're destined. This is something that people write books about. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> New lifestyle is coming in the mood and needs to be alone. All right. So what I'm getting, some of you need to give this person space. Let them choose this. Do not try to push it because you sense something. Hey, you sense it really, really strong. Let this person fight their own battles with the warrior energy, king of swords, and the emperor. This person has a clear vision. They just may be stuck for the moment, not knowing which move to make to get there. But they're going to push through this with the with the triumphant card that's warrior vibes so somebody's about to let the beast out and when i say let the beast out they're ready to they come to conquer and claim you know what i'm saying so let's see what else they want to tell you with some channel messages we're gonna give this a good shuffle right what is in this mood what is this double mood you guys are feeling very very romantic if you guys are sensing like a spike of romantic energy you feel this person's vibe you feel them touching you you could just feel their energy somehow yo this is strong somebody's like craving yearning longing looking looking in the night sky looking in the abyss looking for you earn it effort prove it what trouble <laughs> So I don't know if it's the emperor, but again, somebody's going to come into your life or this is somebody returning to you. They're going to prove something here for you. This is something that you may not see coming. They want to earn your respect. They want to be an equal. They want to be seen as an equal. So somebody about to do this deep work so they could put in this effort. We have envy. I recognize who you are. Of course they do. So somebody recognize the part that you play in their life. They can't stop thinking about you. Some people around them may be very envious of who you are or how you change this person. I feel like you put this person in a very empowered energy where they feel more steady and strong to lead in their life. You guys are meant for each other and this person knows it. They may have been thinking about it for a long time. This is possibly why they needed time by themselves so they could really focus, tune into their real emotions, their truth with the har uh with the hierophant and the hermit. This person may want to marry you. Like what? Oh, look at that. Both of y'all may be cleaning up, stepping up y'all game. This is a new lifestyle coming. It's on the cards. It's it's written in the sky. You know what I'm saying? With this moon vibe. It could be dark right now and uncertain. But something is... Let me tell you. The new beginning is, is hey. You guys just got to refresh. You got to come in refreshed. All right? Wow. So there were some unfortunate events. There was a loss and a disaster hey. And this person or you had to walk away. Ooh, this is difficult times for someone who's trying to become whole with their feminine and masculine energies. Who's trying to complete this dark night of the soul, hey? Yeah, somebody have to face their fears, but they doing it. They doing it because they don't like to be this victim mentality. They don't like to feel trapped. They don't like to feel like out of control. So I feel like you have someone doing the work. They could have a physical illness at this time. That may be something that's hidden from them or even hidden from you. That physical illness could just be like exhaustion, tired, um, unable to focus, frustration. Okay. So I don't know what the fuck that was, but... We're going to keep moving. <laughs> what was that? I feel like I need to call my son. <laughs> oh my gosh. That was loud, huh? Anyhow, let's get some last messages. <laughs> let's see what's going on. What does this person have for you? So some unfortunate events came up and created an even more difficult time. Okay, so that may be what's in the Seven of Pentacles. This person or you does not like what is happening in their life right now. Whew. 
and this is making it this long and more intense you know what i'm saying decisions yeah but i feel like they already made it just don't pressure them don't pressure this person because they like to feel like their judgments or their decision comes from them they don't want to be influenced not even from you all right they need to know that they're doing this on their own they're figuring it out on their own all right wow what is this I'm confused by what you said, mean, and want. So there could be multiple misunderstandings between the both of you. You guys don't really trust each other. Okay, so I'm hearing I can't trust what I don't see with the mood. So your person, they don't want to look stupid hey they don't want to look like they've been taken for a ride the both of you have very very different love languages but i feel like the more time you guys spend building this friendship the more you would see that these misunderstandings is not that deep all right it's just triggered by fear and insecurity stop letting your fear and your insecurity influence you to misunderstand someone that was meant for you all right let's not do that I wish you would talk to me the way you used to. Want me the way you used to. Love me the way you used to. But you don't. I'm hearing come save me. Is that a song? Save me like how you save save me like how you saved us when we were younger. What is that? What is that song? I never heard it before, but I'm hearing like a guy singing. Save me like how you saved us when we were younger. S help me or save me wow let's talk about it i guess you guys save each other this person saved you too by putting you in this abundant energy by putting you back into who you are the empress so even if you're a guy that's watching you may just have um this grace this elegance to yourself you're always open-minded to learn things hey I'm also hearing that you may respect women, even when they're not so pleasant. You still respect women. Yes, I choose you. Oh my gosh. So this person is coming. They want to they want to give you clarity. This person may also want to tell you some vows, hey. This could be wedding vows. This could just be heart vows. You know, they're proud of the progress. They are proud of everything it took or everything that happened every difficult time that happened they are proud of it this person feels like you guys are two halves of one hold oh wow they cherish this bond and they want to hold you they want to be held by you as well but right now they're seeking the truth they need to know this on their own do not try to influence this person do not try to give your little two cents because any little Oh, let me, or I think, no, this person needs to be in the hermit. Go let this person figure it out. Go let them figure it out. All right. Because they're also learning a lot about why these difficult times are happening, about what power they have to improve their own situations. They're facing their fears. And by facing their fears, is also seeking the truth. So it's all wrapped up in one big box. When they pull that ribbon of looking for the truth, it would all be unraveled. And that treasure, that, that treasure bond is going to be revealed even more. All right. Let's see what your guys have to say. You guys, I'm going to check what crashed in my kitchen. That was freaking loud. All right, so this is messages from your guides. This could also be messages from uh, guardians that's overseeing this particular uh, connection. This could be insights that they want you to know. This could also be echoes of the truth. We have a father's love. This could also be that this person respects women. Like, wow. They could also have situations with their dad that they have to face. Um, uh, and I get that they were walking in their father's footsteps or they uh i'm hearing they inherited their father's sins so it says a father's love for his son or daughter never dies the strength gained from such love is often 
on oh my gosh oh <laughs> oh i don't know how to pronounce that with my nose like this unqualifiable unqualifiable i don't really know you guys i'm gonna spell it out and then you guys could like post the definition or whatever U N Q U A N T I F I A B L Unquantifiable. <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys. In that it can be trapped into any time for whatever reason. I gotta read that over. The strength gained from such a love is that word I can't pronounce in that it can be tapped into at any time for whatever reason. Whether your father is still here or past, a father's love is one of the most strongest bond any of us will ever experience. So that could be a guide here as well. Somebody's dad. This could be your person's dad. This could be your dad. It could be both of y'all's dads. Could be a guide here. You know, wanted you guys to get what they could give you. Guided you, directed you, helping you face not only the patriarchal wounds, but the matriarchal wounds. Some of you may be dealing with someone that saw a lot of uh, very disturbing Seeds with their father and their mother. This could also be part of their uh, insecurity and fear turning out to be like their father and having to fall back or go ghost because they don't want that their father's sins to be on them. So they may also have a daughter, or again, they respect the children, mom, or the children's dad. This person wants you to know that they want to be able to protect you like a father protects his children. He wants to be able to provide for you. They want to be seen as someone that you can look up to and trust. When we think about a healthy father role or a healthy matriarchal template, we think about a provider, a teacher, uh, a protector, uh, someone that we could trust to know that this person has the best interest for me. Therefore, if your, your person doesn't know their father or they have like a very strained relationship or their dad passed in some way, this is where they're at. They're facing those templates and vice versa with the mom. All right? They want you to be able to trust them. Someone here has been abducted before as well and their father felt very, very guilty they felt responsible. I'm hearing like a breakdown of I could not protect you or I could not protect this. All right, so I'm going to leave it there. So this person is seeking the truth. You're being advised to let this person deal with these uh, issues. There's something about their matrix, matriarchal or their patriarchal. I feel like it's a dad mostly. This person has to do that on their own before they could be open so that's part of their journey that's part of their dark night of the soul and i'm gonna leave it there thank you guys so much for hanging out with me you guys don't forget to tell me how you pronounce that word <laughs> like you could tell me i'm gonna google it as soon as i come off of this reading and i'm gonna clean myself up and i'm gonna figure out what the hell was that that crashed in my kitchen and i'll see you guys in the daytime like, subscribe, share, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you guys in another channel message. Chat to you guys later.